my hair. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. It is, or I don't know what time it is. I don't think it's 10 o'clock yet. Nine something? Let's see. Nine. No, just before 10, 9.57 a.m. Um, Bob and I um, are going to go for a walk. Before we shower and get ready for the day, we're going to just go get sweaty. Um, it's a nice, quiet Sunday at home. And um, we don't have any pressing obligations, which I enjoy. The closer we get into the holidays and months where we have a whole bunch of family birthdays and obligations, I like to spend what time I can on days where we don't have any commitments or appointments, just enjoying the quiet, going for walks and not having, you know, the TV on and farting or reading a book or I think finding the quiet moments in the midst of the chaos of the upcoming holidays are important. So anyway, we're going to start off our Sunday for a walk and do it before it rains because it's supposed to rain today, <laughs> but I don't think it's supposed to rain until later this afternoon. So we're going to go get our walk in and I'll be back from our walk. <laughs> My hair is just, yeah, anyway, I'm going to take a shower now and then have lunch, but we met a very... Um, lovely woman out on our walk. Her name is Patty. I'm going to link her information down below her Facebook page. Um, it's an art business page. She is an author, a PhD, and a fiber artist. And she was cleaning out her garage studio space when we walked by. And so we had a beautiful chat. And, um, you know, she is really struggling getting it clean, like most of us are, where your art room and studio just get to a certain point. And yeah, so I, I just tried to give her some encouragement and said, like, if you need some help, you know, message me. I gave her my information, but I, I did also say, I understand if you don't do that, because it's really difficult to have someone else help you with your creative space. It's like really, really difficult. And you just want to just do it yourself. Totally get it. So anyway, we gave, tried to give her some tips. But anyway, beautiful woman will walk by her house all the time. Her dog's always in the window. And we always say hi to her puppy. And yeah, so anyway, I'm going to take a shower now and then eat some lunch and then just veg for the rest of the day, I think. I'll okay, be back. guys, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I was just upstairs in the art room getting ready for, um, I think, a quick little project I want to work on tomorrow while videos saving and loading and like all that, um, my normal Monday morning stuff. Um, I found some sun print paper and that I kind of forgot I had. So I'm going to use it up. I think we'll, um, I guess these are two new packs. So there is, I don't know how many paper, papers are in here. I don't know. But anyway, I found two packs. Oh, 12. There's, so there's 24 sheets. So I'm going to lay out as much of it as I can here on the kitchen island. Um, before I turn lights on, Got windows. I do have windows open. I'm going to put dried flowers on them. You know, I'm always pressing flowers in an old dictionary. Um, so I don't think my, I need my normal sun print thing, which is a piece of clear glass from a picture frame that I uh, rigged up with uh, foam in the back so I can put the feather, flower, whatever here, but the sun print facing out on top of it. Close it up, press it, stick it this way in the sun, and you get a sun print. Follow the directions. I don't think I need this because my flowers are already flat. That's really why I use this, to keep things flat and from blowing away. But we're going to try to do this in the house. So we'll see how it works. I'm going to put you down, but keep you on, and we'll take a look and see what happens.
guessing because they're not actually outside in the sunlight and they're inside, although it's bright in here and you're getting some UV, it's gonna, they're gonna have to sit here for a while. So I'm gonna set a 10 minute timer rather than five minutes. I'm gonna just let them sit here. I'm in no hurry. And then when they're done, I will put all the dry foliage back in the folder it came out of and I will rinse them off per instructions and we'll let them dry. Sun prints, they are kind of fun. I'll let you know how they turn out. I'll be back. Everybody. It is Monday morning, September 27th, 9.48 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the computer. <laughs> we have already had morning meetings this morning that we needed to have, Bob and I, and I have just barely turned on the computer, but I did update um, my video uh, description and scheduling uh, links time whatever, for a collaboration that's going up on Wednesday the 29th. So by the time this comes out, it'll be out too. Um, uh, the RT Trio, I'm going to include um, a link to the Facebook group. It's a collaboration I'm doing right now with Mike Deacon and Bea Grob. And anyway, so that's happening. Mike has also created a animated GIF that I can use on social media, evidently. So I need to do that. And then the other Facebook group is messaging like crazy. And like, yeah, my table behind me is, you can kind of see right there, it's full. I have a project I'm working on, some stuff for the patrons and supporters. And also if there's any left over, I'm gonna put a couple bundles of things in the Etsy shop. So I have to work on that today. Um, it's raining outside, which is okay. And we'll go walking at some point, even though it's raining. I'll put on my raincoat. And um, I need to go to the, check on the P.O. box and stuff, but I don't necessarily have to do it today. So uh, that's a thing. Um, I might wait until tomorrow or Wednesday to do it. What else? I don't know. Our screen door finally came in for the sliding glass door, and so the contractor's coming tomorrow to put that in, and we need to pay him, and then we need to find out when we can continue with the kitchen project, because we need to empty all the kitchen cabinets. Um, I need to figure out some stuff with the HOA. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of stuff. It's Monday, so welcome to Monday. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's 4.39 p.m., and I spent the day making so many, I told you I was going to make packages for the patrons and if I had enough left over, then I'm going to put some on the Etsy shop. Um, yeah, they're done. I, I have, I will have enough, I think. Um, but I went down a rabbit hole making uh, library pockets. Like, yeah. I'm going to link a couple of videos below that I find really interesting with regards to making library pockets, but yeah. I think I made I think I made a lot. I'll be making more tomorrow. <laughs> I know, right? So I have my table is still full. Yeah, it's but I'm using up some bits that I've need, I need to kind of use up. I also have to scan all of the um, sun prints I did yesterday, um, which I haven't scanned yet. Um, but because I didn't, I'm running I'm running out of time. So for in the day, so. Morning, um, everybody. It's 11.55 a.m. Tuesday, September 28th, I think. Yes, because tomorrow's Bob's birthday. Y'all can wish him happy birthday tomorrow. Um, I am here chatting with my friend Kathy Whitney. She, friend and supporter, she walked away to go clean her art foamies. I've been laminating more botanicals um, like this, and I was using them to make... Um, Library pockets. Yeah, I don't know where I put the pocket that I was showing Kathy earlier, but I'll put a picture of it here. Um, 
whether you use them in a, a paper cluster or a library pocket or um, on a journal page, I find it a little easier to have them laminated like this. Then you don't have to worry about glue or them crumbling or any of that. They're already sealed in the lamination pouch. Um, and you can staple them to the page. You can washi tape them to the page. You could use the same kind of glue um, or tape that you would use to tape down something sheer paper like vellum. Um, but yeah, they would stick down really well. Or you could put it in a little pocket, put a little pocket on the page and put it in the pocket. So um, I've been making a bunch of those because I do have a lot of dry foliage around. I'm that person that walks the neighborhood and picks things and brings them home and shoves them in a book. Sometimes they mold and I have to throw them away. Sometimes they turn out great. So, but I killed my laminating machine. Kathy, there she is. There's Kathy. So I killed my laminating machine. She's, yes, yeah, still laughing it. I have to say it's not the first one I've killed. And so I just had to order a new one. So now I have to wait to laminate any more stuff. So I guess I'll make more library pockets while we're talking, because yeah, I'll be back. <music> Good morning, everybody. It's 9.40 a.m. Wednesday, September 29th. Mr. Bob's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday. I gotta plug my dingly dangly thing back in. Because I had to unplug it so my sister could use it. Okay. So that's done. We're going to go run a few errands this morning. I've got to go check on the peel box and stuff like that. I've got, I've got a list. So we're going to go get that done. I've also got to pick up prescriptions and all of that stuff. The kids are going crazy with the text messages this morning, trying to figure out what to get Mr. Bob for his birthday. They think shopping for me is bad. He's worse. So... So I pick foliage to bring home and dry. I forget to clean it off and there's bugs and stuff on it. Usually it's like spiders or gnats or something gross, right? This time there was a ladybug. How good is that? Anyway, we saved her. We put her on the flowers on the porch. Now I can go back and smoosh my flowers. I'll be back. And I obviously cannot stop making library pockets. <laughs> they're just a vert, they're a takeoff on paper clusters, in my opinion. I am enjoying, though, adding a laminated uh, botanical to it and a little feather. I do, as you just saw if you're watching this clip, dry my own botanical things most of the time. Um, and um, then once they're good and dry, then I laminate them into some plastic like this and as you know I burned up my heat laminator yesterday so I ordered a new one um, and then once I have a stack of those cut out I can use those and some of these anyway yeah so now I have to make a place to put these 
If you want a tutorial on how I dry found foliage, found botanicals, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I know what works for me. I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I can show you what I do if you're interested. I don't know. All right, I'm going to finish watching my soap opera, and then we have an HOA meeting tonight, and then we've got to go to the grocery store when Bob gets off work and do the other stuff. I'll be morning, everybody. It is 20 minutes to 10 a.m. Thursday morning, September 30th. We're headed upstairs finally after our morning spent catching up on daily drawing because I didn't do any yesterday. I was just too dang tired, to be honest. By the time we got home from grocery shopping and had dinner and everything it was just a lot so anyway i caught it up i did yesterday's and today's which means i finished the journals for september and so one of the first things i need to do up here oh after i put everything down and try really hard not to spill water on my computer because that would be bad um is to put the september journals away prep the october ones and refill my downstairs little ephemera bag for off. Two journals for next month set up and ready to go. The word lists have been pasted in and they are drying. My ephemera bag's been loaded. Um, so I'm going to take these downstairs and then I also, because we are nearing the end of the year-ish, I'm going to start looking at new daily art prompts for next year. I know, right? Because I am going to continue with daily art prompts. Am I going to do two journals? I don't know. Um, I might just do one. Am I going to do my own word lists? I doubt it. Um, but I think I will pick one or two sites and share them in my Facebook group um, with the lists that I am doing. Um, creating my own word lists is just is a pain in the neck, to be, fair, to be honest. Creating my own word lists is just kind of a general pain in the neck. And I'd rather not be bothered, to be honest. Um, plus, I think there's a lot of other people out there on the internet who have done it better than me. So um, I'm going to pick one or two sites. And I'm going to print a bunch of word lists for myself. I'm going to make note of the sites that I am printing lists from. And I will probably be sharing them now in a post in my Facebook art group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. Um, 
I'm going to be continuing with mission inspiration for next year and a couple of other things if they pan out. And so, yeah, I think there'll be plenty of art challenges and prompts for me to share with you all and for me to do every day. So I don't think a shortage of that is going to be a problem. All right, I'll be Just back. Just about three o'clock. I used up all of my library pockets I had in stock currently, and they're all ready to go for whatever project or Happy Mail or whatever I decide to use them in. Next will be tags and tickets, kind of things to go in there. I did put the pieces and parts down here. I really, really needed to clean off the table for my own sanity, but also I have a really bad habit of collecting pallets. Yes, I know. You're like, what? So I just, oh, that's a cute white plate. Oh, that would be a great paint palette. I actually stopped myself last week at the yard sales from buying another one because I really just don't need another one. I have these that are, I have all of these. Then there's more, more in there. Just disclosing to you right now. I've got one there. See that pile, oops, of lids right there? Because I really need more. They're great little disposable ones though. Um, yeah, so I need to, <laughs> I have no excuse. I also have like, you know, I needed a pipette for something. So instead of just getting one or two, I don't even know if you can do that. You have like pipettes for eternity. Do they need to be in the same box with the pallets? So I don't, I've got a couple of baskets of sort of art tool part things like these. So I'm going to clean them both out because this is, yeah, this is much, too much. All right, then maybe clean off the table so I can do some filming because I need to do that. If not tomorrow, sometime over the weekend or Monday or something soon. All right, I'll be back. <music> Yes, I put makeup on. Um, all right, so in between furnace people and discussions about getting a new furnace and air conditioner, and yes, evidently we're spending a nice big chunk of change doing that next week. Yeah, unexpected. Um, uh, anyway, in between all of that, I um, got a good start on a project um, that I'm going to do for playing with art foamies part two. And... Um, I left one of said items blank so I can show you on camera what I'm doing. So, yeah, I mean, I got that done. I need to do some sketching. I'm going to go check the mail just to get some steps and some fresh air. And Dad's fiddling with Bob's car. And, yeah. All right. I'll be back. Dad and Bob are downstairs. Bob's on a little bit of work break. They're going to be... Dad's going to be helping him with some car stuff while he's here. We just went to run to the hardware store for some screws bolts 
I don't know, parts for the car. And while we were there, I picked up some paint chips. So this is Magnolia Home by Joanna Gaines, Chip and Joanna Gaines. They have these, not only do they make a beautiful paint if you're going to buy paint for your house, but they make these beautiful, large paint chips that are great. And they're great to art with and they're great to make tags with. And they fit perfectly in a library pocket. So I picked up some more. Um, between furnace guys, I was saying that I was working on some art foamy stuff. This is the waste paper from the foamies. I was watercoloring with the art foamies. Normally, I would just tear that up. I'm going to take this downstairs and take some black pen to it and do some drawing on it because it really inspires a particular something to, with this drawing. I don't know if you all can see it, at least the, the bottom part. How are you today? It is Saturday morning, October 2nd, uh, 9.28 a.m. Don't get excited. I've looked already. I've had all my coffee. Um, Dad is off doing some locksmithing work for a family friend in Canby. And um, yes, my dad is a retired auto mechanic, master machinist, and locksmith. A jack of all trades, so to speak. Anyway, he's off doing that this morning. Bob is working on the Barracuda, adding a spoiler to the front of the car, I think. We forgot to get creamer and milk at the store the other day, so, and we are almost out of both. And I need to have creamer for my morning coffee, so I am off to the store. Guys, it's I a few to... minutes after three o'clock in the e afternoon, in the evening. <laughs> in the afternoon, dad's gone home. We got a bunch of chores done at the house, including all the Halloween decorations are up. And now we're out for a walk, get some steps in. It's a beautiful Saturday, yeah, Saturday afternoon. I was gonna say warm, but it's not cold. It's not warm. It's just perfect in between. I think it's 70 degrees out. So 72, it's great. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll be back. Just found another painted rock with a Bible verse on the back. Wait, there we go. I think today is my lucky day. I found another one. A campfire with some marshmallows roasting. The back says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Cool. I'm taking it. I really do need to like paint some rocks though. Okay, hey, I'll be back. Buddy. I know it's dark. Hold on. I just wanted to come out here and see what the Halloween lights look like from the front of the house. And I'll tell me what you think. Lights Hang on. In the windows, we've got three little bloody candle operas in the windows. We've got some fake dead people. <laughs> and of course, it's us. So we've got a fake dog and cat. I also we have a, a oops, that's too close. A dragon, you know, because you you can't have too many skeletons, can you? And then of course we have our um, jars that we made last year, inspired by Mike Deacon, and those are our candle operas that we have. You can see from the outside. We have our zombie people and our four horsemen of the apocalypse out. So I think we're ready to go for Halloween. Well, except for the candy part. I hope you guys have had a great week and that you have a great week next week. I hope. Um, stay creative, stay healthy. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Holy cow. Uh, check out the video description for all the relevant links. Um, my link tree list of links has all the places you can follow me on social media, ways to support the free content here on YouTube, like my Patreon and that. I'm getting ready to send the patrons out some stuff. And I know, Sarah, you just placed an order. I'm probably going to put a note in yours and put yours in, in your order. Um, and your order will go out tomorrow or Monday. Anyway, I hope you all have a great one. And... Um, you know, if you have any particular kind of content that you'd like to see, please let me know. Leave something down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go out and have a great day. And do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Right? All right. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.